So we chose this uh, place for uh, this first experiment because uh, it's uh, the ultra oligotrophic uh, system. And uh, with HCMR partner, we are in collaboration uh, during several years at the frame of the Mesoaqua European project, coordinated by the Norwegian partner that they are presented here. And also with uh, participation of other partner of Mesoaqua project, it means the uh, German laboratory, the Sweden laboratory, and, uh, of course, the French Laboratory of uh, Ecology of Coastal Marine System and Mediterranean Center for Marine Ecosystem Experimental Research. Pilia is a small and uh, flexible research vessel with experienced crew which participated in a national and international uh, research programs, uh, especially in uh, fisheries and uh, oceanography. Mesocosm, there is some sedimentation. If you can put a little movement uh, of the hand to push it outside. Then the fishes, cleaning, cleaning, and cut the rocks. Okay. That several uh, depth of each mesocosm, we have several sensors of uh, uh, salinity, temperature, uh, oxygen, the chlorophyll, uh, sedum, uh, and uh, we can get all information at the real time with the acquisition at high frequency, it means the every 30 seconds. And uh, during uh, all the experiment, the data can be transmitted and we can get the all data together on the ship or at the laboratory later. This experiment, uh, uh, the goal, the general goal is to know the pathway of phosphorus nutrient in the uh, food web. So we enrich the mesocosm that I'm going to explain what, what is it. Uh, with the organic phosphorus uh, and the inorganic phosphorus in order to know the food web, it means the phytoplankton, the bacteria, zooplankton and the other component of uh, planktonic food web who provides better to organic phosphorus or to inorganic one. And what could be the results of this uh, assimilation? So we establish uh, our uh, LAMP pla platform, it means Lagrangian uh, mesocosm platform, which uh, in France, in our uh, group during 10 years, we working on this aspect to have the mobile mesocosm in order to can bring it uh, everywhere in the world and to make the similar experiment in several areas as here 
which is a, a very oligotrophic uh, condition. And we can compare this experiment with the other side of Mediterranean Sea, as we did the last year in south of France, in Tau Lagoon, with uh, exactly the same protocol. So after that, we can do it in Atlantic, the polar system, and so on, and compare the response of the system. Mesocosms have been used uh, since the 90s at uh, HCMR in Crete to rear uh, fish larvae under conditions uh, as close as possible to the natural ones. During uh, the last few years, this facility at HCMR in Crete has been used for research in uh, marine microbial ecology uh, in the framework of uh, mesoaqua and uh, nutritional projects. During the next year, uh, this facility will be used uh, for a mesocosm experiment to test the impact of climate change on the microbial food web. And here, uh, my team, we send all of the material here at the laboratory of HCMR, the HCMR Cret Institute of Oceanography and uh, we put together all this assemblage here at this laboratory and with the help of the laboratory, it means a bit collaboration with them, at the very logistical uh, hard effort of the Philia uh, captain and the staff and also the uh, department of the microbiology of ACMR at uh, CRET we uh, establish the platform here. Today is the second day of the experiment and we, we get the sample, send it with the fast uh, ship to the laboratory and the other people at the laboratory, they analyze off the sample. And here on the ship, there is another group uh, that uh, they are working on analyzing the fresh sample that arrived from Mesocosm now. 